This tutorial is one of the simplest we've done. The code itself is really only one line long for actual function. Uh, but essentially, we have this range filled with whatever. I filled it with a bunch of random numbers just to have something there. We want to use these checkboxes on column H basically as a toggle to hide the row. So there you go. That's it. Right, you can just come here, right click, hide row, but I have seen several instances people asking for something like this, a uh, toggle switch. So like normal, we're using the on edit trigger. This is a simple trigger, not an installed trigger, so just the name itself works. Like normal, we just wanna make sure that the edit happened at the right column, column H or eight, and that the value was correct, in this case true, otherwise return. And then this is the actual active line, which is simply get the active sheet and then call the hide rows method and pass to it the row start of the edit. There is another function that looks very similar and it's hide row. I prefer hide rows over hide row because if you can see here, hide row requires an entire range uh, parameter, whereas the hide rows simply takes a number. So hide row, we would have to do spreadsheet app dot get active sheet dot get range. You have to call a lot more to get there. Where using the hide rows method, we don't have to pass it a number of rows. If we look here, you can you can send it a number of rows, or you can just send it a row index. So we're just passing it the row index of where the edit happened and that hides it, just like that.